Alright, and it comes with two new weapons, a unique armor, and a unique power armor. We're going to go put this power armor away so we can uh, go on foot with a companion. And let's go get, let's go see what we can do. Let's get right into the news. Fucking Keemstar. Yes, you are. As you can see here, we have our anti-material rifle. We'll be using that later. Once we get more 50 caliber rounds, I am, I don't have that many. We also have uh, the tunnel snake pistol. I love it. I like the unique version of it. When you have the gunslinger perk, it does a significantly m good amount of damage. Also. Yeah, I was trying to say it correctly. We all have trouble. This is also, um... I also have this freaking junkie's pistol. Uh, now to see, if you guys wanted to see how this thing actually shoots. I crank it like a freaking laser musket. No. Oh shit. I'm gonna turn my phone off. <laughs> Cause I'm about to plug the mic in. <laughs> oh, give me a moment. My good friend, I need to... Whoever, whoever watches my videos, there's not a lot of people that do. Like in between five to, to ten people that usually watch it. Like I said, there's not a lot of people that watch my videos, and I only have ten subscribers, and that's better than nothing. Um, right now we're gonna get into the video itself. Right now we're, we're wearing that backpack. It actually does give me a lot of carry weight, so... That's why I don't usually wear my power armors that often now. Which is good. I also got a rifle. Which I love to death. I'm just trying to get ammo. I mean, I mean, if you want to look at my level, I mean, I'm still a young level, but I, this base took me at least three months as you can hear in the background my friends are playing fucking H1Z1 the best new Fortnite to give you a rundown to give you a rundown on my on my settlement so far we got a donut fryer coffee station oh me Yeah, well, um, we also have donuts. Donuts are the best. <laughs> That's the best creation club thing I've ever... Because I usually like making, you know, I, I like making settlements. And I like doing settlement builds like this one. We got a whole freaking town right here. Um, so look at this. Fallout 4. And I just recently paid for some mods. And I recently did half, almost all of them, so... Had all but one. I will have to charge my battery soon. I got to change my Pip Boy color before anything. I will, let's see.
Wherever Super Duper Mart is, please someone tell me now. Hey, does anyone remember where fucking Super Duper Mart is? You mind looking it up for me? Oh, never mind, I got it. Gotta go Lex to Lexington. Fuck's like, sometimes I don't really have a good memory, so. I'll be sitting on my floor trying to charge this mic. My phone is off right now. As you see on Friday, on Friday night, I was streaming, trying to stream Slayer. I was at a Slayer concert. So whoever, whoever watched, I got like at least 10, 10 views on one, four views on the other. The internet, con internet connection was cutting out a, a fucking lot. So you can barely fucking hear it. I'm good. I got it. Hey, I figured it out. Hey, where's, where's Cere Cerebral? You not here? As you see from right here, the Hubris Comics, like, or it says Comics and Toys, it shows like an inner, I mean, whoever puts these mods up does pretty good, but it's need a, like, a, need a little bit more, you know, just need a little bit more, you know. I was trying to say something and then I forget, um... No, okay. Alright. Um, so... Let's get right into this. I'm gonna take my gum out of my mouth. Okay, and... Yeah, this mic is sort of pissing me off a little bit. Um... Where's that? Wrong one. There we are. So we have to find Hub 360. That's going to be a little, a little struggling for me. Or not. Like one of the YouTubers went over it, like you can't really make it to this location unless you're a high, higher level. Because today in this video is going to be a nice video where I actually... Oh fuck, I don't know where the fuck Curie he is. I got all of my other companions, like all the women companions romance, like Kate, Piper. They're done. I've done all... I've done... I've done all the endings and I I got the platinum trophy so I said hmm instead of doing the brotherhood ending we're gonna do the Minutemen and I'm gonna save that for another video another time you can tell Cerebral he can unmute me or I'm gonna slap him with a bed With a, with a bed frame. What do you say? Yeah. Typical th cerebral. The one that one of my fr older ex. I'm not gonna say it, but what the. Yeah, 
Yeah, I can't fucking edit it out. That's the thing. Now, if we're going to Hub 360, it, I mean, we're going to have a little bit of Supermans because I, I just stormed right in there. We could take care of him. We got a Gatling laser. We got a, a rifle from freaking that one game. Hit me in the face. Let's see how you do against this. Run the wrong way. <laughs> but like I said, no, no, no. I'll mute. I'll mute my mic, I'll, or I'll, I'll mute you for a minute. Like I said, a lot of people make mistakes when when they're doing like YouTube videos or anything like that. I mean. You can't do a lot of mistakes. Like the fucking uh, Slayer concert and doing that on the phone until it died was a mistake. If I had a better camera f for it, I'd be getting more subscribers than you think. But I don't. I don't usually go to shows like that. I mean. Or the caps. To get to so many fucking stim packs to where I was, I was at. Last time I was like a month ago, I was at least 20 left. Or at least 10 stim packs left. I said, I can't do this no more. So, this is what I did. I just went searching for fucking that, anything. So. Like in the other video, like that one YouTuber, basically the military in the, in this in the in this universe went paired up with the with the space people, like the space station, and everything like that. So we got this right here. And we can get a, a space suit, a cannon, a power armor piece, but we need to find those boxes. So let's start looking. And here, you know, they already was, were screwing around, so. Yeah. I'm not. Over here, you can find the figurine. I'm gonna put that in the settlement. So, hold. Do you give me today? Do you give me a wounding pipe wrench? That I don't mind. Or you can find some sugar bombs if you have the. Donut DLC, whatever we can add on to that. Here you can find some ammo. Just shoot the fucking monkey's head off or not. Um, if we keep going, I mean, if you just search this area, I mean, that this is like the that one, um, that one jet engine from like pre war that was that was the defunded arc jet, and that right here was the. Stingray that you found in, like on, on display in the one top of over a couple locations. One YouTuber didn't get it correct, cause I explored some a lot of places and 
in the Commonwealth itself, and I've found, you know, like, really intriguing to find that kind of stuff. Yeah, right here, you can find three co Cosmo come like toys or whatever. Over here, you can find a ghoul. They're annoying as fuck. Have that, you can keep going. And I pick up radiation. Okay. That's normal. And there you can find canned dog food. And like in his video, you found like donut, donut stuff. A lot of brain fungus, glowing fungus is good for me because I can make more stem, stems. And here you find a scavenger. Now, how do you think this person got in here if this place was, you know, sealed off? I'd be thinking, see the donut mix. From that, from the Slocum's Joe deal, see like the one you, the paid mod you pay for. But um, you, you'd be thinking like, how would a scavenger or a raider get inside of here? It's locked, and how would they have the key? They probably got in here maybe a couple weeks ago, probably, but just by lock picking. And once they got in here, they just said, "Oh my God, like, what's all?" I mean. Spooky places get me scared. So, if you hear me scream a little bit, that's because of the ghouls that jump out at me. <laughs> and I don't usually try to do it in, you know, YouTube videos. Right in here, you can find another pre-war corpse. And here we can get another coffee tin to make more coffee later. And here we can also... Uh, Cosmic cannon pieces. One's the pulse barrel, and then one's the laser. We will go over. We we will go over the damage and well, just the the pieces later on. Now let's go get that first piece. And here I'm. I'm just gonna use this. I just stealthed it out. <coughs> Oh, that's pretty good. And right here, we get the first weapon the Cosmic Can. Now, remember, you can also paint this gun different colors, so in the end, yeah, you know. This also does a lot of sell. Right now, it has the Cryo Barrel. Now, as you would think, it would have more damage, but I don't have my perks all the way up yet, so it would be ranged about probably eight, like fifty more, fifty or more damage. Over here, we can just loot some more stuff like stim pack, bone card. Now we can look at the conference terminal. I met with General Tucker like you asked. They were excited to have their new equipment feature in the season finale and offered to have some technical technicians on site during the shoot. It, it's going to save us some a bun, bun on production costs. And it, it just, it's just basically showing you, like, you know, what, what was going on in the film and everything like that, what they were doing. All right, here's a, <coughs> a broken elevator. Before we go on, we're gonna continue looking for those little green kid boxes that can get us a second cannon for Curie. What do we got here? Four boxes. But that we can lose some some stim packs, some more ammo, and blood packs. Now, before we go down there, because that's where we have to go, because I know I've watched a video on this and before I even bought this I said well this is where we have to go so I'm just retracing my steps up here we have a ghoul now I remember whoever uses this gun basically this gun will tear up raiders like like freaking butter it depends on how well your perks are at and your damage level and everything here we can find a telephone and whiskey to a radio and then intercom on the wall. I don't know why that's there. I don't know why the mod author put that there, but it's not—it's 
not my worry. Okay, let's go downstairs. Before you go down, there would be usually be a goal down here, but now we're gonna go down to the offices. This comes the fun part. Yeah, I still have my mic on. I'm just checking if my mic was still on. No, there will be a few ghouls down here. They will spook you. Down here we find another scavenger. Wonder how you got down here. Knowing that I can carry a lot more weight right now. Someone took a big ass shit right in there. I can't edit this out YouTube, so. Sorry, but I wish I could. Down here we can open a door. Leading to a room with two wine and, in a, and a hubris TV studios ID card. And there goes my mic doing that stupid thing again. Let's say if we could find some bottle caps, 38 rounds, pre-war money, and a pipe pistol. On the director's terminal. Let's see, Miss Ward Tucker and his team for his team from the USSSA are here for the equipment. I've given the production studio and studio access cards. So you're like, oh fuck, I did the wrong thing, I uh, like your ass, and they're on their way down to our production offices. I have a, a hard time by pronouncing things. I also, like, th that's what I'm saying right now, I'm not reading that. So, so I also refilled the redemption machines. Here's the list of the equipment in the, in the d delivery. Captain Cosmos Cosmic Cannon. New Captain Cosmos spacesuits. CC. Zero zero power armor sets. So that basically they had a lot of time with the military. And here we can find I don't know who my dad hope oh, was talking about myself and donut mix in there. And the first thing we get is the Captain Cosmos space shoot increase, increases jump height and presents falling damage. Now I, now I I already have the uh, the free fall armor, so that doesn't make a difference. And here we find a nice little ghoul fucker. You know what? Oh, me two ghouls. Never mind. Time to use my baby right here. Let's just fix herself up. Now, I don't want to die, so. So, we're going to go for the head. Here we loot a few things here, gumdrops, some snacks, some bottle caps. We can start looking around for for more loot. On here you can find whiskey bottles upon whiskey bottles. Which pisses me off a little bit. There's there's nothing really good here, but um There's these fancy couches that I've used in a mod once. Pretty fun to use. Here we got speaker for the, you know, and then uh, like basically wherever they're watching the show, basically. Now here we can find Jingles the Moon Monkey and three more Captain Cosmos toy boxes. Use those for the machines later. I'm not trying to sound like. F I'm not trying to, you no, know, make mean things off of certain YouTubers, but. See, and I'm trying not to swear, so that's, I'm doing the best I can. 
And the less I swear, the more better life I have. See, I'm just using this freaking stupid thing in here. You can find Nuka Cherry and Tarberry. Another ID card. Some bubble gum, and the next one we got Nuka Cherry, Plant Co, Bubble Gum, and Razor Green that I can use to make, you know, more donut mix on the floor. Sugar Bombs, pa Pack of Sigs. Now, in here, what I remember from the one YouTuber, or what, Oxen or whatever, that, that started, like, paying attention to lore behind this. Like, basically, it was stocked up when the bombs fell, and then they told no, no one to panic. Which I did, and I came here and basically ate everything, including that. Uh, there's also fucking moldy food in here. I might edit out a lot of stuff later, because look, there's one... We're gonna go in here. We can either go in here... I don't really, there's really nothing in here, I don't think. Except for... Hey, I don't, I don't see no full lockers. That thing has a lot of fucking recoil, but... I remember, I, I would remember that radiation kills ghouls. Yeah, I'm not paying attention to you, bitch. <laughs> eh, fuck it, we're wasting time, let's... Some XP. Fuck her and die, fuck her die. Ten rounds game. This is basically where they record record your show, like for the Captain Cosmos show with Jingles the Moon Monkey. You would think there would be good stuff in here. There's only thing model caps circuitry. I need that. There's two ways to get in the film set. We can either hack it or we can use ID cards. I want to use the ID cards because I've seen them in the video and he hacked it. I said, yeah, I don't want to do that. So this is basically where they sat and recorded the show. And they say pre or skeleton. Basically just like a little recording studio. We can use this to open up the next door and move down to a fucking ghoul. I shoot in the head with my 10 millimeter. And keep moving. As we keep moving after we eliminate the ghoul, we can enter the hubris film set. Since we have Curie with me, it won't scare me because if I'm not if I'm alone and I'm playing like a th oh, hold on. If I'm not alone and I'm playing at like three in the morning, I will get very scared. Like I do I have like jump scares scare me a lot. And you know, I just don't like it. Yeah, sorry, you're not getting up today. Over here we can see... The power ama. Here we can get some duct tape, all that shit. Well, let's we go down here. Fuck, I missed something. Um, more donut mix in there. Open this up. Ghoul's right there. Loot him. Good. And here we can find a broken... Right now here we can find more Captain Cosmos toy boxes. We can use for the, you know, the... Almost like the book return thing. Also paint in here. Let's see, we also have... I also have a prop in here. 
like two props in like power armor pieces like prop pieces and another over here we could find bottle caps plasma cartridges and the server outfit or whatever I don't know how to say that <clears throat> over here we can find a you know, it's still blocked off I mean from the pre-war they uh basically locked off the elevator because well it was out of order before before the bombs so yeah so let's keep going I'm gonna need that for the brotherhood C can never get a lot, a lot of stuff right you know and here we can see the actual recording place and place for the power armor and here we can find another kept cosmos power armor figure across from here we can go into Jingles the Moon Monkey's room now I would think that they would have an actual monkey I have a now you, there's a lot of things you can get from this DLC like you know like posters anything like that here we can find more donut mix Slocum's Joe stuff which I'm still trying to work on cuz I made a good pretty donut place and you know, well, boy, I don't. Right here, we we have to kill the the glowing one, known Rod Stoddard, the main actor of Jingles the Wind Monkey, like the whole show. If we give some of our scrap to her, maybe I could uh, start just by showing you. Four ten, good enough. Before we go and get her, our power armor and get her in power armor, we're gonna go and explore, and we get yes. another Captain Cosmos spacesuit, basically for one of our companions. Here we can find a lot of drinkers, and Rod was fuck was a cross dresser. You do you, my dude. I don't have any say of what that is so we can say you know Jingles is happy when his jungle dinner is nearby I know you're a star show but everyone really loves the monkey the Captain Cosmos place set starts to outsell the Jingles so we can talk again getting out of hand have we had any calls back from my th auditions they're, they're worded a very gifted the Spain with talent and talent beyond compare, but uh, I think you should work on your differences with the with the director and work out your and stick it out. The TV show is a huge hit and put it in, and it put your name on the map. Besides it, it's is it really so bad? So bad working with Jangles. I love that little monkey. So he probably was an actual monkey. Is what in my so basically this this says like. Basically, uh, the, the the final message is saying like, well, bombs went off, like the world's ended. Don't don't panic. And here we can find some bottle caps, pre-war money, <laughs> tactical for 44, which I don't really need. A wine on the couch. Some glad. Which I don't know what what that is needed for. I scrap but over here we can see at least a little bit of see like one of the posters. So that's but it's not the one one that we're going to be getting. The mod author didn't put in better ones. I've seen them already. So welcome to the lady of the show. Which oh fuck, forgot you. Her name is Stella Skyfire. As Jane basically will be second in command from Fallout 3, they're that little girl in the Zeta ship. The Zeta ship. I've never. I've played Fallout 3 a very tiny bit. Only the rest I found out through through YouTubers, like on the lore, everything like that. Now, you would think, think, why would she be having a weapon? Well, but you'd be probably punching knees, and I would get I me mean, get your anger out, and then probably probably be doing drugs as well. You never know. 
on the other side we can see a catwalk heading up to the doors that we came out of and let's turn to our right where the rest of the production crew will be of course they'll all be ghouls Roy Baker Oh, you... Now you see how I died, so we're gonna just reload it real quick. While I'm reloading it, please tell me never to do that again. I really dis dis disliked re like reloading these things. Like I said, most of the information I found out lore is basically YouTubers. Uh, uh, hello, motherfucker down here. More toy boxes. And the props. It's like he was sweeping. <laughs> Funny. Um, find some railway, right can find that, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's keep moving. Um, Peary would find another ghoul. Should I shot to death? Here, here would, you would find a stupid bug. Some Nuka Cola, bottle caps, some food. I usually eat this food. Don't know why, but I just do. Here we can find cram. It's like regular food. And then nothing in there. Or donut mix. And no more. Yeah, no more of that. Of those boxes. Yeah, we're just gonna take out this guy with the fucking. Yeah, that's better. Oh, I like this better. For here, we can find basically. All of it's already upgraded, so you can actually ch drastically change that power armor a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Now that here we can find another co C O zero zero piece, prop pieces, and keep on going. Down here we already explored. So, at least what I, that's what I think. Up here. You already know. Yes. Armor. You already know the story. Another pow. Ooh, I, I, I didn't see that last time. Let's also see all this. Sit down for a moment. So basically, I'll show you well, one of the posters that we'll be getting that we could get. We can get one of these. It's at least one of them. Now, there are certain numbers that come out of the machine, so... Next we have... This lady... Some coffee tins... I can make more frickin' uh... Donuts with that, um... Heating coil... 
through here again. We'll save it real quick. And we'll keep going. Can find more Captain Cosmos toy boxes in there. Turning around, we can find a Jangles the Moon Monkey on there. The exit to the studios. Through here, the rest of the crew. Uh, that the mod author screwed up on one of the names. Like, he got it like wrong because the terminal up there said like a different name. Like, it started with a W or something. And they put it like Baker instead. So, uh, they made a little mistake, but they it's fixable. And we're gonna automatically just take him out stealth stealthily. Yeah, you, you thought you can get close? Think again. And here we could find the stuff that we got and a chest full of some good some goodies next to some brain fungus. And there's a shit ton of brain fungus in here. So we'll, when that one on rod, when they are also coming to the so, so coming to the apocalypse, this is where they were, were at. You can find three more boxes in here. Production terminal, like basically telling of how much they had. Oh, come on. Oh, 507. Hey, hey. Get for that. Get for that. Get for that. To get to our power armor, we have to like, if we time it just right. Like I, the YouTuber did it once and you got it, but I am not so good at doing this. There we are, well, I'll figure out what's going on. Up here we could find more radiation. A military ammo bag, some bot caps. Some more ammo. Fusion core. Don't mix. And we can get our first suit of of Co Captain Cosmos power armor. Now since she can't get up here. I'm wondering, just wondering where she went. I need her right now. Walk out of here. You can walk out with two. Not one, but two power armors. We can then tell her to get into this one. Please get in. Over here, here. Move here, here. Here, here.
Damn, this is high up. When we go up here, we can finally go through that door that was, you know, bar. This is only 48 minutes, and this is the shortest time that I've done a stream on Fallout. As we make our way around, we can go for another. Now, we could get a poster. Or we can get another cannon. That's not worth it. See, I didn't want to buy another outfit. I'd rather buy another cannon for my companion. That's why I just did that. I make a lot of mistakes at a lot of times, so I usually got to reload. That's all we have left. And those are just some traitors. From here we can go back out and we can go talk about the weapons. This fucking... There was an ant crawling on my neck. I don't like that. So far the video was good. Now we gotta get past the fucking super mutants. Just great. Now there are they're only the only one glitch that I the only one like glitched out thing I liked about and with using a Gatling lizard it glitched out on a freaking uh vertebrate I was on and uh I I never ran out of ammo when I was on it. It was super awesome. That was the only time it happened. Now we can go back here. Or not, we're gonna have to fight our way out.
Now we can go back and we can talk about the weapon. Now there are three pieces to this weapon. I'm gonna take all that junk back from her, but... Now since I didn't want to use any mods to place down... You know, to put down like... Objects, objects in a settlement. Go off and drop off a first set of power hammer. Well, you we can see this. A little bit of damage, but it's fine. I mean, because he's this cop, Captain Cosmos. Got a little bit of rust. See, we have the module prop, and there's I'm gonna take that. I guess we have the rest. See, we have two action figures of my choosing. My workshop work. And there we go, guys. Or not. I mean, basically, I didn't even do, do that on my own. The game... What the... Since this is all connected, let me just move it for a moment.
and right there you can actually see what it looks like as the action figure. My god, that looks so beautiful. Now for the props. I'm just going to declare that, that my new Wi-Fi is a hot spot. There you go. There we go, new Wi-Fi hot spot. <laughs> and we also have the effing, you know, these things. Let's move on to the next thing. Like I said, that can be fully upgraded. It's going to be Brotherhood of Steel. That's what I'm going to... And the other one's going to be this, this one right here. Hey, hey. <laughs> uh, over here. here. And there we go, there's the other power armor. It's gonna be just gonna be the whole white, like it was. Now let's go look at the you know paint jobs and the pieces for this weapon. So we got so it can be upgraded like like a regular rifle. Now we have the sonic pulse barrel, the laser barrel, and then the cryo barrel. You can either change it from a wood stock, a pistol, or a full stock. Even put a reflex. There are a lot of paint jobs. I'm going to try to do this one. It's going to be Brotherhood of Steel. Because, hey, why not? And it's going to be a pistol. Or it can be a big chrome enclave, which I don't. I've never gotten an enclave paint job. Like regular like power arm paint jobs, like those little eyes right there. Minutemen, Railroad. Repcon was basically part of ArcJet that made, like, you know, space related stuff. So we're going to be putting that right there and make this a little pistol. Each one do different things. Now that we have our pistol, we can get to the other one. I'm missing screws. We're gonna keep this cryo, and we're gonna just keep. Right, give us a nice arc jet paint. Also, the power armor, armor can be painted as well. That's the Brotherhood of Steel, so... This one is just gonna be a standard cryo. So... As you see here... This can knock down enemies. So let's just, you know, try it out. Now this can knock down people. See how they stagger? It has its own custom sounds. Now if you're doing this from a distance away, it is pretty effective. And if I, if you have your, your pistols perked, they can get it up. Look at that damage. 70 and then 28. So it's minus not all the way up. It's, it's going to stay like that. But this is my, you know, my Brotherhood pistol now. 
And I might just destroy the Institute with this fucking power armor. Like, hey, why not? <laughs> but seriously, since you've seen that one, and let's see, we also have the cryo cannon. Which I like, and is really useful. And it will be really useful later on. So let's go up here and put this one on the rack while we use our Brotherhood pistol. Like our new Brotherhood pistol, go try it out and everything like that. So. What the fuck are you do? How'd you get up here so quickly? I wonder. So we could put. So I have two new places for these. We're gonna move our Brotherhood of Steel, you know, pallet and armor out of the way. And since we kind of like the NCR from Fallout New Vegas, I usually played that at my uncle's house. Like, I just put that on the backpack, make it look good. Plus, it, the, the, the little thing I have on right now, it gives me a little carrying capacity. When you st stand alone get this, it comes with a jetpack. Which looks so effing OP. Let's get to upgrading. First, we're going to be going over the paint job. First we have our jet, Brotherhood of Steel, Chrome, Enclave, Hot Rod, Pink Paint with the Spikes, the Shark, the Eyes will be on the Shoulders, Minutemen, and then Repcon, Railroad, and Lead Plating with like all the regular ones. We're gonna make this Brotherhood of Steel. We go to the helmet. <laughs> there, like, I think it's recon sensors, right? Adds a little monocle on there. I want Space Cowboy. But we can have that for now. We'll add more stuff later to this power armor, but this is our, you know, new power armor. Look, look at those rockets too, it has like a little bit of more like, you know, potential. But now you remember like we regularly you can mix and match power armors, so you can also do it with this one. See like I said, that little monocle right there? It's pretty cool. You can also get other stuff like this on there. That'll come later. So you can only see the Paladin Stuff on the on the side, but nothing else. It looks like a spacesuit almost to me. All right, so if, if we want to go test out our weapon, and I also want to use this, so we're gonna use our new. You know what? Yeah, we're going to use our new power armor. It's already fully upgraded, so let's go try it on an enemy. 
Don't know which one we should try it on, so let's... Since we got two of the new spacesuits, we're gonna go first, put them away, and we're gonna do this. If you're wondering how I got this, well, just the whole institute set up on here, trust me, it was hard. I'm leaving all of my stuff here so I can, you know, go try this out real quick. Let's get our health back up. And where would Raiders... So we're going to go try our gun at... I don't know, maybe Concord? Concord a good place? I don't know. We're going to try it. You can't actually cripple yourself while using the sonic pulse barrel. You can't, like, if you're too close, you can actually cripple yourself. What's up, buddy? Nothing. What are doing in here, dude? Like I was saying, you can't actually get crippled. So first, let's get, get, let's get out our, our cannon. And it like one shots Raiders. See, and I'll show you. Reminded this uses cells, so it depends on how many cells you have, you know the rest. But it basically, like I said earlier, it cuts them like butter. I mean, I've had this glitch where Sturgis follows me, and I've it's, it's been throughout the whole campaign, so eh, whatever, it's just a little minor thing, he follows you everywhere, it doesn't really matter. He doesn't really get in the way. Plus, since I assigned him the trading and everything, I tried sending him away to another settlement. That's what triggered it, so... I guess you can't send him to other settlements, I guess. See, I'm not going over there. Or shall we? Now you might hear my dog whining in the background. Do not worry about that. Look how... Like, look how fast it does it to him. Like, damn. I don't even have to...
Dude, this fucking rips him apart. Hey, remember this? Everyone should remember this who ever played Fallout when they first were starting out. <laughs> Oops, shit. Um, we all remember Thomas, the guy, whatever. Not, not, I'm speaking of something different here, but. Here we could find where he was trying to put together a mini. -sick. Here's the cap. Here's the beryllium cap. Here's the detonator shell, and then here's the hemisphere core. All the stabilizer fins. All some other things. Over here we could find uh, bottle cap mine, and another wasteland survival guide. This is only for when you don't have Diamond City on your map. So I had that perk where they won't lock me out. I can keep trying. I eventually get it. Got it. This will be my first and um, this is this is off the, off the DLC now. So this will be my first and only entry. I identify myself as free think as a free thinking citizen of one of these great United States. I'll not stand idly by to the government and fax the minds of its people people with devices like the electrical tower they've erected in front of my lawn. I pledge take down this mind control device by any means necessary and you have begun construction on an, on an incendiary device. If you're reading this, I have certainly been killed or detained in the government interrogation camp. This, The news will surely warp the truth and brand me a communist traitor. Do not believe their lies. Let all, all the true patriots know what I, what I do. I do my own free will and the freedom of my good country. Okay. I mean, like after a while, like new came down, boom, he he was fucked. That's what happened. He was fucked. You can move now, cure, cure. Over here, yeah, we don't really find anything else. So it's like a little bunker. Let's so, so his front lawn electrical tower. He's probably talking about this. Hey, buddy, come on! No, I'm doing a stream. Not right now. No. I hope everyone has enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe to my channel. It should be J Dogzilla. It should be. It should be J Dogzilla 100 the gamer. Search it on YouTube and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time.